Hi, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited to be here. Um, if you were in the audience last year, you probably remember that this was our very first presentation together on stage as okay. Co-Create. And this year is like our one year anniversary of being back here. So uh, we've had quite a year, yes. as uh, Mary mentioned, uh, let's put it this way, you liked it, so we put a ring on it. So, yeah. So, um, <laughs> August last year, That's right. we actually uh, got married. So it's been quite a year since we saw you last. Um, lots of interesting things. And that's why we wanted to really kind of call our presentation Secrets, because, you know, as hairdressers, we all have our own secrets. That's right. And uh, I think sharing those secrets really what makes a good educator. And both of us love education, love being here with you, and that's what co-create the two of us is all about. That's right. We co-create together, but we co-create with you, the industry. And what we want to share within our secret story is a lot of different things, the secrets to success, the secrets to simplicity, the secret to formulation. And we're gonna speak to it in a few different brands, but what was really cool for our other debut at Premiere is we got to co-create with Lonza's Vibes. So we wanna give them a big shout out as you're gonna hear a lot of the different formulations. Lonza Vibes are who we've actually co-created with, which is cool. Yeah, and you can see the slides up there. The Vibes are really beautiful, vibrant shades. It's a direct dye, and we've been working a lot with that. So the cool thing about doing what we're doing is um, we we kind of say it's a bit like Oprah's favorite things. The things that we love to use, we can use and talk about. So that's one of the things that we discovered this year. Brand new set of colors called Vibes. And we've used it on virtually every model, I believe. Yeah. That's right. So let's... Um, our first secret agent. Let's look at our first secret agent. <laughs> Which is Michaela. This is Miss Michaela. Come on down, darling. We're going to break them down for you and tell you what colors we've actually used on the hair and the kind of the feeling behind. So let's take a look at Michaela's before picture. And you'll see that we had like long, dark hair. Uh, we've done some pre-lightening in there. So we have some really kind of like pre lightened panels underneath. But if I tip Michaela's head down, you'll see the top has a deeper veil that drops down over all the pre-lightened. So it's almost like dark on top dark underneath, the pre-lightened in the middle. And in that middle, we've used the three different shades of vibes. We've gone with a, a, a teal diluted down, which makes a beautiful turquoise, a blue, and then a violet. And the violet gives accents to the blue and gives almost an ultraviolet kind of look to it. It's beautiful, Michaela. You know, and it's also, it's just something, as you have this trend relevance into this whole infatuation with mermaids and unicorns and whatever someone's calling it at the moment, <laughs> you know, color melting and color perfection is really what it's all about. You take the placement and you put whatever you want inside of it. And that's really, thank you, Michaela. That's really what we're doing is we're using the extreme colors but in a, in a way that we'd do a highlighting technique or an underlighting technique or a blending technique. Um, and here in Andre, if we have a look at Andre's um, before picture as well, we had like quite a, a light base to begin with, um, quite a lot of gold in there, cute little kind of uh, pixie cut. And really the colors that we've used in here, if we turn her around, you'll see it's a really great blend into the blonde on the top into turquoise at the front. And we diluted everything down. There's a clear that mixes with these colors. So you can dilute down as much as you want, or you can keep completely intense. And you, you got a name for this one, haven't you? I call it Blush Crush. Right? Yeah. I'm in love. I have a crush uh -huh. on blush. You know, you really went into this whole thing within the last couple of years, right? We had rose gold, and then rose gold was either really orange, really yellow, really gold, or rose, whatever, right? It was like caramel years ago, right? Sometimes it was blanche, sometimes it was warm, <laughs> sometimes it was cool. Yeah. Blush crush <laughs> is really a special combination between the orange, the yellow, the clear, but also the magenta saturation. It's that pink influence. And give them a slow spin, darling. Slow spin. Not that slow. Keep it going. <laughs> With it, it diffuses light, but that unexpected bit of turquoise painting that just shadows that accent, you're going to hear me speak a lot to a theory that's not new but I love, is that your light is only as strong as the dark that sits beside it. And in case, because we're all hairdressers, we need a visual, we remember this, light is only as strong <laughs> as the dark that sits beside it. Oh, hi. You You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> so here, with this blush crush, I think it's really something special that you can utilize, and it's your combination. Tune it up, tune it down. Yeah? 
But I think the blend of this is beautiful. The, the blush is taken all the way to the crown. Then we start diffusing in the blonde. Um, we've still got the blush at the roots at the front here. And then we go into this very pale kind of turquoise. So it's almost like, is it there, is it not there? But it's enough to really kind of be eye-catching, give some versatility. Anyone that has their hair pre-lightened can then change that tonality very quick and very easy. Thank yeah. you so much, Beautiful, darling. Beautiful, Andrea. Thank you. And into our next secret agent, which is Brandeis. Let's take a look at Brandeis's before picture. You'll see that Brandeis actually was a brunette. And actually, we have some history with Brandeis. Brandeis is modeled uh, with me kind of like for quite a few years. She took a year off last year as a brunette, came back kind of, you don't mind me saying, do you? But quite a lot of natural highlights in the hair, shall we put it, sort of gray. And then the brunette on the ends. And she kind of called me up and said, hey, can you give me a haircut? It's been a year, I haven't done anything. And then once we cut it, she goes, would this be a good time to go platinum? I'm like, this would be a great time to go club platinum. So we immediately kind of started pre-lightening her hair, got her up to a really a very pale yellow. And then the color tones that we've used, if we tilt down, and this was kind of like a, a great combination That's of our right. ideas together. We have um, a pale violet, so we diluted the violet with the clear, a pale turquoise, and a pale pink with a pale blue base. So if you look at everything in there, it gives this really beautiful iridescent, almost opal-like right. effect. I call it opalescent shadows. They just need to reflect. And you think, how do you translate this into a conservative blonde? A low light is not something you say to a really high blonde canvas, because sometimes they get a little frightened that it's going to be a browner or darker version. Or that, the smudgy, shadows... or that smudgy look that blondes can get <laughs> when you low light them as well. Yeah, that dirty yeah. blonde. Dirty, dirty, blonde. dirty. dirty. So here, by using a pure this time, you can still use pures, but keep it on more of a pale reflective slide, and it gives that variation to maybe a one-dimensional canvas or something that's maybe over-lightened. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's a really beautiful combination, and I want to thank you, Brandeis, as well, for having trust in us and putting your faith in your, your, hand, your hair in our hands. Oh, yeah, show us a bit of skin, ooh, girl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Brandeis is in the house. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> How do you like the, the look of that we put together, the clothes, the kind yeah. of tonality cool. and everything? They look hot, don't they? And like I have to say, we've both been doing hair shows and classes and things for quite a few years, but I was stood backstage watching the monitor and I actually started tearing up watching the girls going down the runway. I'm like, oh my God, they look amazing. They look beautiful, you know? And you're like, yay! Yeah. But then I thought I'm going to be coming out here like a sniveling yeah. mess. So I pull myself together. Same. Pull yourself together, Chris. And but it's really there. special. He puts it, he styles it. It's all him. He'll design it, style it, it gets cut, and there you go. I just say, mm, I love it. Mm, mm. And sometimes he doesn't even do it. He just raises his eyebrow, and you're it's like, you know, you know? So it's true. I don't even ask anymore. I'm like, just watch the eyebrow. <laughs> What's special here with secret agent Asani, moving back, you can see that we've really transitioned into lift. Have you it's seen that before, Petra? I think that deserves a yeah. ooh, ooh. 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 So here, what I wanted to do is not only gain the lift between the lines of powder, right? You vary your lift, you clean up your canvas. But also then, what we did is we did a silverizing. In our classes that we're going to have today, and as well as tomorrow, you speak about cooling it off first. Give them a slow spin, darling. Whenever you see the cool reflections that are through there, we cool it off first with a very sheer tinted alkaline glaze, and that squashes anything of warmth that lives in the cortex. Then you put your overlay tones on. What's cool is we did a spin of the shadows, but gave it a little more punch with Alonza Vibes, a dilution of the violet and clear, as well as what's special, give them a slow turn, you can see that the interior shadows are painted, small triangles painted within the top surface to create a high point, which we'll get to in a moment. But then there's a top surface accent that is on the mid shaft only. And you can see it that it creates a really beautiful acidic yellow. So I took yellow and clear, right? And what I did is I just wanted to flirt. If we remember, yellow is, people whenever blondes say, I see yellow, they don't see yellow, they see gold for the most part, right? Or a light or dark gold. Here, yellow being on the cooler side, it allowed me to create a really special, unexpected flirt, which I think is really fun, you know? And it just details the texture of the fringe. I hope you enjoy it, because I think it looks hot on you. Thank you, Asani. Thank you, Asani. 
And moving up to our last secret agent, uh, Miss Laura. Hello, Laura. And, uh, you know, again, we talked about the journey that we've been on this past year. One of our associations has been the company called uh, Regenesis, which is Revitalash Technologies. So it's the Revitalash Cosmetics that's now the technology of the lashes is in what we can do with hair, shampoo, conditioner, scalp treatments. Um, we've been working with them on a program of actually cuts, colors, and styling, and then in, obviously included in the products. And Laura has really been our key model. So we thought it'd be great to kind of have her here today and to be able to take you through the haircut and the color technique. Yeah. So with the haircut, you can see that um, we started off at kind of like a chin length and worked down towards the shoulder. Then at the back, we came down to um, about bra length. And then the join-in through the interior was using the front length and the back length and blending together. And everything was cut with a razor. And obviously, this was a year ago we did this, so it's been a transition during the course of the year. You'll see as we bring the color technique up that her color has actually got richer and richer as the year has moved on. The color goal with Lara, as we co-created with Regenesis by Revitalash, is we wanted to give the illusion of volume. Creating texture, you can see that we've taken the trend focus of hair painting, right? We're all in love with it, hair painting balayage, but it's a system. For me, it's a whole entire structure that between the painting, right, working highs and lows, we tie it off with a dimensional glaze. Here, it's a really strategic zigzag parting that can work into any colored canvas. But here with Laura, what we've used is the red and also the yellow to create a, um, excuse me, the red and the orange to create a really great dimensional contrast. And we finish it all together with the style. It's the foundation support of a wonderful treatment that gives you the foundation to create any style and look. And then today we were styling, we're using our, our new kind of co-create um, tools and we decided that what we do, we do a pin-up. So this is her length pinned up at the back into a kind of little faux bob. And then we just use the top layers on top to kind of softly come over. So it's really given a different feel to her hair. It's a way that we can give our clients something that's shorter. They can flirt with that for a little bit, see how it suits them before they take the whole plunge. And um, it's good for like a red carpet event, you know, like weddings. Um, anything that you have that's a social, just to be able to do something a little different. So I that's hope right. you like the look. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. Laura. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Give me so Laura. gorgeous.